Going to do a little video here on swapping the brake levers around. Um, these brakes are European brakes, so like we get hold of at the moment. So the front brakes on the left instead of the right. And on Shimano's, you can swap them around without having to bleed them again. Um, so we're going to give it a go, see if we can get them to swap without having to bleed them. So all you do first is you've got two 8mm bolts on there. So undo that one. And make sure this one will do as well. Sometimes the ones I'm doing you're stuck with one out. And all you want to do is as quickly as possible so you don't lose any fluid. Whip them over. One in there. With a bit of luck, these won't have lost any fluid. One again, right there. And we should be able to just bolt them back up and then pull the brakes, and everything should be fine without bleeding out. You can do this on tech trolls and all sorts of other brakes. Sometimes it is luck. And it goes right. We didn't seem to lose much fluid. We had a little drip from this one. Let's work that on there. That on there. And they're still pulling nice. So that's worked nicely. You can just give them a quick bleed and burp if you want. I can show you how to do that now. Um, what we'll do is we'll just burp the brake. Don't have to bleed it, so we're using LHM, which is cheaper than mineral oil and easier to get hold of. And all we're going to do is fill the syringe, get all the air out of it, like that, and then we'll open up the pops there. Top out of the lever and also got the little seal out there as well. Put the syringe on. Like that. And then all we're gonna do is pull on the syringe pull all the air out you can see there and then push back down pull push pull and push on the syringe give the syringe a little bounce and then that's made the lever really really good so it's nice and easy like that we'll quickly do the other one as well so out with the cap there, down, and the little ring there. Just drop that, and then we want to grab the syringe again. I want to make sure that all the air bubbles are out because we don't want to be pushing the air into the brain, and then we put it on. Make sure it's tight, give it a push, and then a pull, and there's all the air that's in the lever. A bit more. You can give the lever a pump as well if you want, just to move any air. And that looks like we've got it all out, and the lever's a lot better. I hope this helps you out.